Hello guys and welcome, Marwan Painter is here and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I am gonna talk about texturing. I have this wheel and uh, I have this tire. I want to texture all of these parts inside Sebastian's printer. I uh, unwrapped everything except the tire. So I will uh, unwrap the tire in front of you so you could understand the technique that I use. I'm not using the traditional unwrap UVW map that exists with 3D Studio Max. I'm using Arab Pro. Arab Pro is very fast, it's very powerful, it's similar to Rhizom UV. So I will isolate this uh, tire by hitting on isolation button right here. And I will add UV double map clear. This modifier delete every seam exists on the object. So I will use it. You can find it inside the list. UV double map clear this one right here. After that, I will convert this to editable polygon. Right click, convert to editable poly. So after I convert it to editable poly, I should add a rub pro. But the problem that I will face, I need a edge loop to cut uh, the tire from this area, but there is no edge loop could do that. So I need to create one. The best solution is to go to the side view and choose area like this area for example and use a quick slice this one and make slice like this and cut the tire and cut the tire like this after that I will go back to the perspective view I made this uh, edge loop right here and this edge loop will help me to unwrap this tire so I will turn off uh, polygon mode and I will add the Arab Pro inside the modifier list, this one. I need to uh, select the edge and I will select uh, this entire loop by hitting double click on it and going to the other side. and choose this edge loop. So I will convert it to seam, press this uh, button right here, and I will double click this entire edge loop, and I will deselect this area. Like this. After that, I will convert it to seam too. And now I am ready to use Arab Pro. I will open a UV editor. And I will excite of the edge mode. And select one polygon. And hit expand like this. And just hit Arab. It should be, it should erupt automatically. This is the first piece. I will hit Arab again. Alright, that's cool. I will choose the other part like this and I will hit Arab again. I will select everything and go to the rescale and uh, hit pay custom. Now everything is ready to to the substance printer. Maybe I could uh, choose this uh, part and uh, give them scale a little bit. But before that, I will cut the tire trade to two pieces by selecting uh, uh, the half of the tire trade and hit right click and 
break that will break uh, break the vertices after that I will take this part or I could use uh, pick again using all the pieces and hit pick again A little bit of adjusting and moving things. I will take this up a little bit. And right now we are ready. Let's take the height of this uh, of the polygon mode and convert it to electrical poly. Right click, electrical poly, like this. And I will excite of the isolation mode. And I will select. Uh, this part and give it a material i will press m from the keyboard after that i will add standard material go to materials standard this one and i will give it a color like uh, green and shift click drag to duplicate it and I will give this one red the green will be for the tire and the red one for the wheel and for the logo I will give it another material. I will duplicate this and to and change the diffuse color to whatever color you you want, like this, and apply it to this logo and the other part. After that, I should give them a name. I will start with uh, this one. I will change it to like uh, tire, and the second one will be wheel and the third one I will call it mm, logo that's cool just remember something substance banter depends on the on the material that you add to the object so every texture set inside substance banter it's equal to material so every texture set is a material when you give uh, this part different material that's mean you are separating this object inside substance vendor so that's something very important if you give this object one color that's mean the uv map will override each other inside substance painter and that will cause a problem so to avoid this problem i give every part a specific color just uh, to avoid any problem of uv i will export this as vbx and i will jump to substance painter to show you what i'm talking about i will go to file i will select everything and go to file and export export selected and save it as whatever name like tire and wheel and hit save leave everything the same in this menu and hit ok now let's go to substance painter now we are inside substance painter this tutorial is not for beginner so i assume you are familiar with the interface of substance painter and the tools and everything now we will go to file and in you uh, you have this window after that go to select hit this button and go and pick uh, the file that you saved 
open it. Document resolution, you can change it. If you have powerful computer, you can choose 4K. For me, I will choose uh, 2K for the sake of speed. And normal map, I will keep it open all key. And then I will hit OK. Now, as you see, I have problem. The problem is the normal of the object is flipped, so I need to correct it. The correction of this uh, issue is not inside Substance Painter. You should go to 3D Max or your 3D software and uh, flip the normal. So I will close this project. I will go to File and hit Close. And don't save it. Now I will go to 3D Studio Max. I'm going to show you the problem how to solve it if you uh, face uh, such a problem like this you need to go to to utilities and hit reset x form and hit reset after that the normal will be flipped so i will go again to the modify list and i will convert convert this to editable poly and then choose all the polygons and flip them like this. I will repeat the process for the wheel, choose the wheel, and go to the utilities and reset X form, hit reset, and go back, convert it to poly, select everything, flip them. To make sure if the logo is correct or not, just give it a uh, reset. It's correct. It doesn't uh, flip, so th there is no problem with the uh, with the logo. Convert it to a default poly again, and now re-export it again to Substance Painter. File, export selected. I'd name it the same name and replace it. Now we will uh, import this object again, go to file, a new, and hit select, search for tire and tire, 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 and wheel, uh, this one right here, and hit open. Leave everything as the same, and hit OK, and make sure that the comment resolution Voila, now everything is okay. Now let's jump to the most important thing, Peking Mesh Map. Before we go to pick everything, as you see right here, the name of material is existing here. So when I switch this off, this will, uh, the logo of uh, Volkswagen will disappear. And that will happen to the tire too. And the wheel. So I, I hope you understand what's going on and why I gave them uh, individual material with names. After that, I need to pick uh, the maps, the texture, uh, because uh, if I don't do that, I will have problem when I add smart material or add the smart mask. So I should pick the mesh. So I will hit pick and uh, Make sure to choose the size resolution. I will choose 2K. And uh, for ID, I will leave everything. And after that, I will hit Pick All Texture Sets. Now, as you see, Mesh Maps is generated right here. And if you noticed, there is MP occlusion and there is no mistake or error uh, in the objects. So we are ready to texturing this object. But in the next lesson.